Prosecutors will be retrying Kellen Winslow II for rape charges that a jury deadlocked on earlier this week. Winslow was found guilty of rape and exposing himself to women, but jurors could not agree on eight other charges, including forcible rape and kidnapping. Now, a new report detailing his time in the NFL is shedding new light on alleged sexually deviant behavior that started long before his crimes. News 8's Richard Allen is in our newsroom with the disturbing details. Richard. And Barbara Lee and Marcella, this article published online by Sports Illustrated after Kellen Winslow's conviction on felony rape offers an unsettling look at Winslow's reported behavior while an NFL player. And we should warn you that some viewers may find these graphic details disturbing. He has now been convicted of forcible rape. While well, the prosecution laid out its argument for why Kellen Winslow II should remain in custody pending his retrial in the near future. He is a convicted felon pending sentencing, which requires a mandatory term in state prison as well as lifetime sex offender registration. He does pose a significant danger to the community. This explosive article published online this week by Sports Illustrated delves into the former tight end's past during his time with the NFL. The in-depth report featured on SI.com outlined stories gleaned from Winslow's former teammates and coaches, highlighting his reportedly sexually deviant behavior. According to Sports Illustrated, Winslow developed a reputation among colleagues as a compulsive masturbator and pornography enthusiast. At one point, according to the report, a Browns equipment manager found him masturbating in his Hummer. While on team flights to out-of-town games, none of his teammates would want to sit next to him due to his ritual of watching hardcore pornography on his portable DVD player. Sports Illustrated also reports that Winslow would often watch porn on his smartphone during team meetings and on road trips would reportedly masturbate in his hotel room no matter who else was in the room at the time, leading to teammates requesting not to be assigned as his roommate. Perhaps most disturbing, according to the article, Winslow later in his NFL career began taking a silicone mold of an anatomically correct woman's torso with him on road trips. As one former coach told Sports Illustrated, comparing Winslow's past reported behavior to the current criminal case, quote, he showed the signs of being a perv, but clearly it has escalated. This is another level. And Kellen Winslow II's new trial is now set for September 30th. If convicted on all charges, he faces the possibility of life in prison.